gorgeous human being, it's Miss Bubbles. Welcome to Song of the Prairie. This is a new farming game that will definitely capture your attention by how beautiful and magical the graphics look. But we all know that beautiful graphics can take you so far, we also need really good gameplay mechanics so we can tell if a game is worth your cash or not. Now Song of the Prairie is in early access and you can get it right now on Steam so definitely check it out. But before we get started and before I give you my final impressions at the end of this video, make Make sure to squish that like button, it definitely helps out. And without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I'm gonna be playing the game with my Xbox controller, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna give you a look at the settings and so far if you want to access those, you can do so with your controller. You have the sound, music, sound effects, and voice volume. Then you have your camera, so you do have your joystick sensitivity as well as camera zoom, which is kind of like, I think it's your field of view. You also have your mouse sensitivity, and then when it comes to display mode, I hope that we get more options because right now in graphics quality all you have is low, medium, high, highest, and recommendations and I have no idea what that means so we're gonna just go with high for now. And then you have your game settings, you have your language, you have harvest notice and map rotation. I always have map rotation. What about you guys? You usually have it on or off. And then you have your operation settings. So you have your controller if you're gonna use keyboard or gamepad, so we're gonna use gamepad. Um, I wanna see if that lets me- yeah, still, we can't use the controller for this. I think they're gonna integrate it later on. Because remember, this is early access, so not everything is gonna be perfect. So let's start a new game. I seem to have slept for a long time. Is it you who disturbed my sweet dreams? Aren't you the legendary hero who saved the world? You have legendary fame, great power, but they also brought you endless hassles. Now go back and this is my territory. I won't allow you to bring the hassles here. Okay, so there's something happening. Oh, okay, so I'm willing to hide my identity. I'm willing to conceal my power. I wonder if these will have two different paths. Um, I think I'm gonna go with hide my identity. Has the glory been a thing of the past for you? <laughs> Oh, so they did notice that we chose to be anonymous. What's here that makes you so persistent? Oh, another choice incoming. A life for me, a true friend. Sue, so, a life for me. So we're a human hero. I'm surprised a human hero would desire a peaceful life like this. The world would be shocked if they found out. Oh, okay. So we can hide our past now. So I'm guessing there are different routes in this game to take. That is so cute. You <laughs> The music got really loud for a second there. 
Okay, so we can customize our character. I always love that and seems like they're going the resume route So it's like oh you've been qualified to be a part of our town. I love that All right, so still in this I also cannot use my controller So I might be missing something, but we'll see how it goes afterwards. So we have Gardner over here So you can be Kelly Or Burgess or Winnie. So who's that though? It's locked right now, so I'm not sure who they are. So we're gonna go with Kelly. But yeah, each character is something different. So Kelly is a gardener, but Burgess is a voyager. So they're different, they have different abilities. So so he starts with the initial fishing proficiency level at D. But I think she's good with planting. So yeah, she will start with level D with the planting. So we're gonna go with her. Located in the west of the mainland, it is the federal state led by many nobles. So she's from the state of freedom, advocating freedom and adventurism, and boasting self-expression, which is a paradise for artists and adventurers. So let's go with Kelly. So you can't name yourself, but I think you can change her. Yeah, you can change everything about your character, but you can't change the origin story or their name. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't mind. So here are the hairstyles. This is cute. I, I like this. I always say that though, we need more curly hairstyles. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Um, we're gonna go with... I like this purple. And then you can change the highlights. I actually like this. Yeah, this is cute. And then you have two different faces to choose from. And then the forehead, which I don't think we can see what's happening because we have the bangs. And then you have the cheekbones. Uh, you have the cheeks. The jaw. You have different eyes. I like this one. And then you can change your pupils. Oh, these are cute. There's like detailed flowers inside. I like that. Okay, and you can change the eye size. And let's give her blue eyes. I'm gonna make her like a my my fantasy my fantasy kind of character <laughs> if that makes any sense uh and then lipstick i always say i go with the palest color because i am so pale <laughs> yeah i think this is pretty much me right now and then you can change the eyebrows that is also changing your eyes so i'm not sure why that is happening Okay, and then you can change the spacing. And then eyebrow col color is good. Nose, change the height. And then special looks. So you can add some extra details like scarring or blush or heart. We'll do some blush and I think that's good. Oh, never mind. You can change the name. We're gonna go with Bubbles. I thought we can't change the name, so that's cute. Um, and you can choose your birth date. So every month seems it has 30 days. So we're gonna go with summer three because that's when my birthday is. We're the new owner of the farm and we need to go meet the mayor. We're gonna use the Piggy Express bus. Alright. There's plenty of voice acting so far. I did not expect that. I like the graphics so far. These are really good. Right, Bubbles, good afternoon. Hello. Okay, so if you talk to a character, you will get some hearts, which I like. Alright, so this is the Piggy Express. We're gonna transport, so... We're gonna use the bell. By the way, my keyboard is like all the way to the side. That's why I keep looking that way because otherwise the clicking noises are gonna be too much for you guys. So let's go to the farm. Oh, this is cute. I like the map. That's good. That's a big map. All right. And so far I like the music. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, 
Oh no, he's sleeping. Sleeping on the job. Right. She's asking for forgiveness. <laughs> okay, we'll leave him to wake up later. I'm just skipping to the dialogue because it is taking a little bit too long. Okay, let's go ahead and explain. So he's Uncle Hart. Okay, so this is our place. Home sweet home. Okay, so he's Oh, his hat fell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so you use the hoe to aim at the empty land and press left click to cultivate the land. When there are obstacles on the land, it cannot be cultivated and it needs to be cleared before it can be cultivated. On the tilled blend, take out the seed bag you want by pressing the corresponding number key listed in the shortcut menu. And then we can plant the seeds. Unplanted seeds will remain in the backpack. Use a watering can to aim at the planted land. Okay, so it's like basic. Um, I like that. <laughs> After the crops are mature, you just press F to harvest. Open the settings interface. Oh yeah, you can actually choose if you want to see this icon. And I like that because some games recently haven't been showing us when the crops are ready to harvest and it just makes things a little bit confusing. I'll deliver the hat to him when I'm free, but for now, let's teach you how to farm. All right, yes, let's start the tutorial. Thank you. I really like the music and I can't get over how good the graphics look. I'm surprised. This is actually really good. Alright, so she's showing us how to work on the land. Yes, let's do that. Alright, one, two, three. As you can see in the upper left corner, the, the carrots they're dropping down, so that's your stamina. You have successfully cultivated the piece of land, and we are one step closer to our goal. So you can press the key on your keyboard, or you can just scroll, and I like that we can do either. Alright, and I like that you're planting a lot of them at the same time. This is really good, this is epic, okay. So for seeds to thrive, one thing is essential. Yeah, water, right? Okay. Let's do that as well. I like that she's showing us how to do it because some people, like I forget that sometimes, some people have never played a farming game before. So, so far this seems, this seems, this seems like a beginner friendly farming game. Okay, and we do have a shipping box. So at five in the evening, you can sell different items that you don't need anymore growing crops is a way to make money you can go to don't want to open general store to buy the seeds you need and plant them on the farm don't forget to water the sown land every day and then put the crops in the shipping bin for shipment for the goods put in before wait what for the goods put in before oh okay yeah so if you put it before 5 p.m then you'll receive the payment early in the next morning i had like a brain freeze for a second okay these are the mayor's gift for you hope you can take care of your farm in the future in order to help you get used to the farm life soon the mayor has prepared a diary book for you and has left some small tasks on the memo page in it okay so press q to open the diary and this is the memo. So we need to make 50 shipments and harvest 30 units of crops as the beginner quests. And then we get a reward of 20 flax seeds. And then you have extended story contract. So you know what? Let's also take a look at the menu. So I think contracts are... Okay, so these are separate. 
So these are, I think, your usual... What is it called? Board? Like the town board kind of quests. So I like that they're in the journal. Okay, by the entrance of the town, there is a store called Don't Want to Open General Store. I like that! So you don't have to keep going inside the general store. You just buy stuff from the outside. Um, thank you. Enter the escort mode. Oh, let's see that. You're welcome. Everyone in this town is like my family, and now you're one of them. Helping each other is how the family should be. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with her. Please say hello to Lori, the owner of grocery store. Press M to open the map, and press X to check Lori's location. So this is M, and then press X. Oh, that's perfect. So you can see where is everybody, and then Hart, the mayor, seems to have a quest for us. So where is Lori? Alright, let's just go to town, because I have no idea where Lori is. Let's look at the graphics, so cute. There's a lot of pop-in happening. What's that? Is that... That sounded like fireworks. Oh, I think that's a bug. Yeah. There was a bug happening. Okay, let's take... Where is it? The footsteps? Yeah, that's not sounding the best right now. Um, okay, so let's pick this up, I guess. Why not? And a small rock. Okay, and then let's take... Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's go to... Is it the guild station? Yeah, I think that's the place. I love that you can quick save. I just don't like it when we're forced to sleep. So we can save because sometimes you're, you know, life is happening. You need to get up and stop playing. So I'm glad that you don't have to worry about that. So let's go to the map and let's try and find Lori. It's here, yeah, general store owner. I wish we can mark where they are that would make things easier so i'm here so we're gonna have to go this way i think and you can sprint but there is a stamina as well and i'm okay with that all right is there like a cutscene? Ooh. what do you mean you look down on red please don't make me repeat it just talking to you and breathing the air you breathe is a dick Oh my god, he hates her fashion. Talking to someone who is as nonsensical about fashion as you is like playing music to a cow. I love her style. What is wrong with her style? You have a rustic smell all over you. If I were your customer, I would be so- oh my goodness, so ashamed of my choice. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm not- we're not gonna say that. I don't want to get demonetized. Do you want to fight? We will bring it. What- oh no. Why don't you take a look at yourself? It's your so-called fashion to dress up as a beetle. Bee? Beetle? What nonsense are you talking about? They're just ready to fight it out. Wait, someone's coming. Great, let her judge. Oh no, are you gonna drag me into this? Oh no, that's gonna impact our, uh, impact our relationship. Hey, you're here just in time. My name is Tuya. I'm the tailor in town. I think red is the unparalleled best color in this world. I'm sure you would agree, right? Don't listen to her nonsense. The essence of fashion is the collision and the complements of different colors. I mean, both are right. My name is Caro. I'm the hairstylist in town. In other words, I am the hair designer. I have spent a long time studying in the city of arts. That again, I have spent a long time studying in the city of arts. How many times do you have to repeat this? I'm just telling the truth. Did it hurt your feelings? Whatever, I don't care. I believe this passerby will make a wise ju oh, judgment. No, keep me out of this. Tell me what you think. Who looks better, me or him? The young man with colorful hair. No one is as good as me. The redhead girl. I'm gonna be arrogant and just say that because... How dare you? Don't copy me. Oh my goodness, he's just at it. That's my word, you parrot. <laughs> Stop calling me. <laughs> if you want to be more fashionable, I can help you change your hairstyle. I promise to make you the focal point of the town. If you want new clothes, my skills won't let you down. I can finish what you want in one day. They're just not happy about this. 
All right, so let's go to the general store. I really like that we have a mini map as well. That's helpful. Oh, there we go. Is that the owner? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that cuteness. The sun is warm. I really want to go back to take a nap. Feels. By the way, I heard that a new person came to the farm today. Wallace must be busy teaching her. <laughs> oh dear! Who are you? And what are you doing standing by there, silently? Self-introduction. I'm terrible, sorry. I have been here the whole time. Nah, let's introduce ourselves. So you're a new sister from the farm. My name is Lori. I'm the boss of this don't want to open general store. In the future, your farm can't live without me. By the way, I also prepared a gift for you. The comfortable chair was made by Pauline from the creation workshop. It is the same as mine. Oh, we unlocked a new field guide and we got a blueprint. If you are tired while working on the farm, just sit in a chair and recover. Oh, okay, so you can actually rest to get your stamina back up. Take my gift and you will be my sister. I actually have something to trouble you. Did you see the broken station at the gate of the town? Since it broke down, people have to walk to the farm. Brother Poor, Poor said that it needs a lot of wood and stone to repair it. It's too troublesome for me. Can you help me repair it? Yes, let's do that. When the station is repaired, it will be more convenient for Sister Bubbles to come to me later. She's so cute. I like her. Alright, so we got a mission. So all small items can be purchased from Pauline in the creation workshop. Press the corresponding number key to take out the small item, select the favored place. Oh, okay, so it's like um, getting blueprints and moving them around. And then you can't have obstacles in the way. That's fair enough. Okay, so let's take a look at the menu. So this is your inventory and you can move stuff around. I like that there's already a lot of space over here. And then you will have items, crops, fish, materials, small items, which I can't find, and other. Then you have... what is this? Oh, these are our tools. So you have the remodeling hammer that we just got. And then you have a bubble, so this is you, personal data, and then... Oh, you get like run and stuff, so it has some uh, Rune Factory 5 kind of vibe, because even running is considered important and then you get a ranking so fighting animal collect plant mining whatever that means base theft oh you can steal oh goodness gracious uh cooking trade log and fishing this is the map and the map is pretty decent guys that's not bad it's pretty big and i really like the design of it uh interpersonal so these are your different people that you're meeting so you have 24 people to meet and then you start as strangers and then grow to familiar and you can learn their likes dislikes characteristics their career nationality i like that you have the birthdays of different people i also like that because some games want you to go and figure it out for yourself so making it a little bit easier for beginners i would i'm very happy to see that I just want more people to play farming games and it just makes me happy. So I need to talk to you, right? So Sleepy, you choose what you want. View tasks. Grocery store. I think we do need to buy some of those because one of the objectives is to sell 50 things. So cabbages need 5 days, radishes need 4, onions need 6. What about those? Oh, okay, so not you can't get everything. You do need to get better in farming so you can get specific stuff, which I, I like. I'm cool with that. And then um, let's get a couple of cabbages. So we'll get like 10 of them. And 10 more. Perfect. I think we have 50 different things because we we're gonna have to sell all of them, right? Okay, let's see Is she doing the ooh? Excuse me is the boss here since I was a child I have known how to reject others because the best way to protect my art is to reject other first 
<laughs> Thank goodness. Every stone has a past. Even a rock that is rough now had a past when it was smooth. I mean, kind of true. Can you two talk to me? Two? How can you see me? Wait, what? Oh, she's the one. Uh, she's Pauline. Isn't it normal to be able to see you? Are you a ghost? I mean, are you a ghost? I'm very sorry, but I didn't expect anyone to notice me so soon. Aww. Because since I was a child, my presence has been weak. It's usually hard for anyone to notice me, especially when there are others around me. No. I'm sorry for saying so much in one breath. In a moment like this, I should introduce myself. My name is Pauline. The person talking to himself here is my brother, Power. He is immersed in his own world of art. If the encounter between us is accidental, is the ending between us really inevitable? I like that they also have the expressions. I don't know how to describe the art style, but I love it. That's what my brother is like once he's in that state. It's hard to interrupt him at times like this. This is the creation workshop here. My big brother is responsible for building various facilities and I sell furniture. Pauline! Pauline, where are you? Oh goodness gracious, this guy is just out of it. Where is he going? Can I talk to you? Hi. View tasks. Farm construction management. Oh, these are the... It's like the like chickens, but not really. And you can build the enclosures for them with him. Okay. I wish we can go one step backwards rather than completely exit the menu. She got stuck. Urban construction management. What does that mean? Can I like upgrade everything in here? That would be really cool. Oh, this kind of feels like The Sims. Like you can go here and then choose different stuff, but I think it's just not available in early access. Okay, um, let's talk to Pauline. Furniture store. She has like an armchair, spring flower gate, crafting table. I think we're gonna need that. And then, oh, that's so cute! I really like the art style. I'm like a broken record in here. I, I really like this. This game has a lot of potential so far. All right, so in our memo, we have the shipments, we have the units of crops, and then we have to restore the Piggy Express station. So let's go to the entrance, which was, I think, over here. All right, how do you how do you upgrade this? No, I don't want to transport. Okay. So it is asking me to go here to fix it, but I'm not sure how to do it. So I'm going to let this mission go just for now and Go the other way, because apparently there's like a guild that we can maybe join. So let me see. A few tasks. Collect. Seeing a young person like you coming to the town, I remembered those years when I ran towards the setting sun. This was my lost youth. Let me give you a commission. Please bring me nine white radishes. That's my buddy's favorite food. Okay, so we did get some radishes. We just need to plant them. Plant them. You can see though, it's like the camera needs to be fixed because right now it can't see like it's not that smooth. But slowly, hopefully, the devs can fix that. Uh, okay, immigrant directory. You haven't recruited any immigrants yet. Oh, okay. Oh wait, who's that? Hello. Hello stranger, do you need help? I'm the priest here, my name is... Teg, I think. Uh, my only problem is lacking money. Money can solve most problems. <laughs> You're the new guy on that farm, nice to meet you. I mean, I'm a girl, but... I heard Mayor Hart mention you. Now the town is short of people. I believe you should be able to make a big difference. Anyway, the town welcomes you. This is the temple of the goddess. The goddess will hear your voice. I pray for the goddess to bless you and make your wish come true. Shall we meet some more people? Oh, here we go. Oh, so you do have also a board of commissions. All right, so various entrusted tasks will be refreshed on the bull bull bleh, 
<laughs> bullets on board next to the guild. You can view them on your memo. Oh, okay, because I was like, I saw them in the memo. So you can go either way. The refresh time of the entrustment is once a week. When it is completed, please remember to go to the bulletin board or find the corresponding entruster to submit the task in time. So you can't submit it in the memo, but you can see them on the memo. So let's take a look. He wants a huge fish, I guess. Uh, you want wheat. I don't think we have enough time. You need hardwood, so there's a spelling mistake here. And a top, whatever that is. Get it from mining. And then notices, iron ore, cabbage. I don't have that many. Lumber. Oh, I, I do have that. And small fish. Uh, confirm. How can I confirm? Release time next. I don't know what that means, but... So wait, how do I... Do I just go to the girl and give her? Oh wait, I was next to Pauline. She didn't tell me she wanted that. Commissions, notices, turn page. Okay, let's just go to her and give her the thing. Give her the thing. Um, oh goodness gracious. Okay, guys, I'm still learning. Okay, and having my keyboard way over there is not helping. <laughs> Okay, let's go to Pauline. Where's Pauline? Oh, you can actually mark stuff. Let's go meet the blacksmith then. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to squish the like button because it really helps out. What's the commission? Self-introduction. Newcomers, they have nothing to do with me. If you don't need me, leave quickly. What's your name? <sighs> Sakona. Hey, you! Who gave you permission to enter the blacksmith's shop? It looks like you were kicked out by that goddess too, right? I haven't seen you before. You probably are not a member of the goddess support club. According to the procedure, you have to become a member of the goddess support club first and then wait in line for your turn to speak to the goddess. Wait, does he, is he in love with her? Because the goddess doesn't like being disturbed by others. Generally, only a few people a month can talk to the goddess. Then they confessed gifts and love letters were thrown into the cooking station and the confessors were driven out by the goddess. What is he talking about? That dramatic? And the goddess support club is filled with people like me. I think you could be one of us. You might as well join the goddess support club first, starting from knowing the name of the goddess. I already know the name. I beg your pardon. It's impossible. You already know the name of the goddess? Could it be that the goddess has favored you? That is impossible. Impossible! I'm- what? Talk to Sakona to commission her to make new tools while the smithy is open. But you can only have more advanced tools when you have the corresponding lower level tools. The newly forged tool will be sent to your mailbox on the next day. Smithies of different levels can create tools of different levels. Talk to poor? Poor? From the construction house to upgrade the smithy. Oh, so that's where, it, yeah, we were seeing that everything can be upgraded. So then we can go to the advanced tools. Let's see what other place can we find some people. Oh, there's the, yeah, let's go meet. Let's go to the restaurant. Hi. Little cutie over there. Come on, come closer. Don't worry, I'm not some random strange person. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look back like her. Give so yeah, look Give, just give her a self introduction. Mm -hmm. Bubbles, what a good girl. Come on, come on. This is my gift for you. Oh, we got grilled fish. Uh, do I like it? Sure. <laughs> You're such a sweet child. Well, I have something to do. I'll play with you next time I have a chance. If you want to cook, I can lend you the furnace in my restaurant. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Ah, okay, so we can use her place to cook. Come interact with the stove to cook delicious food. You can use recipes over the stove to directly generate food, or you can interact with different cookware. Just add any ingredients you like to start cooking. Oh, so you have a steamer, a wok, a stew pot, grill, the menu, and an oven. Ah, I like that. So we have different cooking methods. I mean, we don't have anything to cook right now. Let's check the menu. So we can do radish stew and you can like start cooking it or clear broth. So let's go and meet the library owner. Oh, that's 
that's Freya. When the prince kissed his lips as delicate... Wait, what? <laughs> when, the ki... <laughs> Goodness gracious. when the prince kissed his lips as delicate as roses, a miracle happened. Talia, the spleet... What is wrong with me? Talia, the sleeping princess, finally woke up from her long nightmare. What a beautiful love. Leia also wants to be kissed by the prince from her dream. Okay. You, you, who are you? Could, could it be that you, just now, you, did you hear it? No, I heard all of it. Soon everyone will know that Freya is, is a strange person, likes to hide in the house and talk to herself. Freya can't face anyone. There is no other way but for Freya's sake. Freya has to copy what happens in books and make Mickey disappear. I've seen the way to hide the body in the book. Oh, goodness gracious. Leia has nothing to fear. Leia is going to... Oh my god, she... Did she... Did she faint? Oops, oops, Freya doesn't seem to have eaten for three days. Oh, goodness, girl. Girl. Let me find something to eat. Help her up. Get up. Don't take the opportunity to do bad things to <laughs> So you just wanted to help Freya up? This girl is just delusional. I'm sorry, Freya. Freya misjudged, misjudged you. Thank you. Thank you for helping Freya. Freya forgets things when reading. I, I can see. Freya, Freya. Leia's name is Freya. Leia is the owner of Leia Bookstore. I, I don't... Guys, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm so confusion. I'm confusion. That's what I am. We do have a few more people to meet. Let's go here, because there is somebody over there. Ah, you startled me. I didn't expect anyone to appear on the back hill of the town. Wow, it's this late already. I've been enjoying the scenery on the back hill for too long. Who are you? My name is Hasur. I'm an employee of... I don't know how to say that. Oops, Miss Becky told me that I shouldn't casually share my personal information with strangers. You don't say. What should I do? I've said it now. Too late. I should calm down. What everyone will do at this time is to try to eliminate others' memory. What is up with everybody getting so aggressive? <laughs> this is a strange choice of yours. Quickly give self- yeah. Wait, I'm not a bad person. Yeah, just quickly give him an introduction- give her an introduction. I see. You're the newcomer everyone talks about. So in that case, I can be regarded as your senior. Bubbles, let's get along in the future. I'm fine. You, you guys are crazy. Speaking of which, Miss Becky gave me some reading materials about Back Hill when I started the job, but I'm not good with books and stuff. Since you work on the farm, maybe you will fill, you will find them useful. I'll give them to you then. Oh, we got some books, okay. Alright then, I have something else to do, so I gotta go now. So there are many resources in the Back Hill of the town. Not only can you collect plants, catch wild animals, fish and mine, there are also buried treasures waiting for you to discover. So wait, what is that? What did we get? Relationship. Oh, everybody has a has a relationship tree. So these are brother and sister. And then we don't know what's the relationship with them. This is awesome. I love that. So there is somebody else here involved, but we haven't met them. I don't think I've ever seen a, uh, a game do this. I really like that. Okay. Look at the... Oh, wait. Proficiency. So proficiency is that like foraging. Look at that. It's so cute. Princess. Oh, hi. Adorable. Let's get this. Right. Oh, our stamina is up. Okay, so the more you run, the, the more your stamina will get. After 7 p.m. every day, fireflies gather on the wild bushes. As long as fireflies are caught, they will surround you and illuminate you tonight. Oh, that's cute. How many times did I say things are cute in this game? Sorry, I'm not working on the ranch right now and have other things to do. Oh, I wanted to meet you. Okay. So, I just saw Pauline, and I thought maybe I can give her the, um, the lumber that she had in the commissions board, but I can't, so I'm not sure how the commissions board works. If you guys know, please let me 
Let me know how that works. Right, so we just activated a new piggy station, I think. Yeah, we actually did. Nice. So let's go to the farm. This kind of reminds me of, I think, uh, my time at Porsche, where you have different places to activate, so that will help you. Um, since we have a lot of energy, and I don't know if you're supposed to sleep, um, let's try and work on the land just a little bit. The music is so relaxing. Alright, so we have some space over here. Things are gonna be a little bit messy for now until I figure out where I want to put everything. Yeah, I'm a little bit limited on where I can work for now. So... There we go. I really like the graphics. They look really good. Alright. Oh, we have some space here. That's good. Whoops. The residents of the town are peaceful people. Please be careful not to accidentally hurt them. Oh, no. I didn't mean that. If you accidentally knock out a resident, his affection for you will drop dramatically. Oh, that's new. Okay, but you need to... Can you move? Thanks. Alright. I need to be careful then. Okay, let me let me plant these over here. Um, I wish that the keybinds are a little bit better, like I is for inventory, because right now they just don't really make sense. But I think we can harvest those, the wheat. Yeah, we can harvest this. It's getting late already, it's time for me to go back. If it wasn't for work tomorrow, I would really want to accompany you for a longer walk. That's cute. Bubbles, tomorrow you will start your farm life on your own. Although I can't stay by your side, I will think of you and cheer for you. Oh, thank you. Off she goes. Okay. Can I get up? Up there? Oh yeah. Oh, these are the fireflies. Oh, that is adorable! Oh, get out! So cute. Oh wait! We found a sickle! Hello! Oh, is that his? He just fell. I love how everybody just falls to their face when they see me. I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> hmm. Cannot believe that your excellency pulled out the sickle. Your Excellency must have heard of the legend of the sword in the stone. Who are you? <laughs> Excuse me, I was so surprised that I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Dew. Since I accidentally discovered the sword in the stone, I have been waiting for that special moment every day. Unexpectedly, I just left for a little while and Your Excellency got to it first. It is already a great, a great. It's already a great pleasure to see the weapon from the legend. Uh, I'm not a oh. legend. Two great pleasures intertwined should have produced more pleasure. What? But why am I feeling depressed now? So let's test it out. Does he does he want to talk to me or oh he just left? So wait, I wonder if then can I get a pickaxe? randomly as well that would be great okay let's go to bed that's a cute house so let's go to sleep yes oh my goodness so many letters okay so many letters let's go okay we did not yeah we did not sell anything i should have put the um wheat in the bin but i forgot okay what what's up well please please don't get too close to me i'm a little nervous I'm not good at this kind of stuff like greeting strangers but uncle heart wants me to come in person 
So, my name is Maud. I'm the shipment collector in town. Oh, okay. The things in the box at the entrance of the farm are what I take away every day. I mean, we can also be regarded as, as partners of the farm, right? I'm looking forward to working with you, partner. Howdy, partner. Uh, as partners, we should- Oh, goodness, get more intimate. You should look into the eyes of people when talking to them. Just be nice. Um, ah, I almost forgot to tell you something important. Because people learned that you are here, there are a lot more farm commissions from the town. Uncle Hart should have written them all down in the memo. You can open it at any time and check. And Becky of the... Is that... I don't know how to say that. Uh, recently said she needed wheat for bird feeds. Oh, I can give that to her. I have some. That, see, that's good. We didn't sell it. If anyone brought her enough wheat, she would thank her with an old feed machine. Oh, that's good. All right, let's check the mailbox. Hi, newbie. I'm Abby, the woodcutter. You can cub for me in the farm woods if you want to know about logging. Okay, so we can get an axe from her. Oh, uh, we got a lamp. I'm very sorry for what happened yesterday. I was too focused on building the perfect statue so that I only learned about your visit later from my sister. I would like to, I would like you to accept this as an apology. I like that, like there's a story happening here. See, we didn't recover all of the carrots. So I think sleeping early is important. The game just doesn't tell you. So if we're gonna get the axe, by going to the lumber girl. Um, I think we can get the pickaxe by visiting the mines. So we might actually do that. And then there was somebody who needed wheat as well. So we watered everything and now let's talk to them. Oh, there we go. Oh, you actually need a hammer? Uh. Are you here for that too? Do I have to spell it out? You also heard the woodcutter's rumor and came to blackmail me, didn't, didn't you? As soon as people got close to me, they would encounter misfortune. Some of them got knocked out by falling gore pieces. Some of them fell into random holes in the- Oh, stay away from me. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people like you coming here to extort money from me in the name of medical expenses. Uh. Hold up, sir. Uh. Now what? I told you so much out of kindness, but don't think you can get close to me. How are you kind? Mm. So it's you. I judge too fast. I apologize. You don't say. My name is Croc. I'm a miner in town. The mayor mentioned you to me. He told me to give you this hammer. Nice, so we can mine and hopefully have a better farm layout than the disaster that I have right now. You can also go to the death mine in the town and entrust me with mining. This is my job and I won't refuse. If there's anything else, I'm leaving now, okay? Very lovely to meet you. When approaching the ore, yeah, you can use the hammer to mine. Different grades of ores have different requirements. Okay. So let's try that out. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, then we probably can't get this. Yeah, no matter how many times you hit it, it's just not gonna work. Oh, this one too? Okay. Fair enough. Abby's cabin. Is that another quest? You are- hold on, don't tell me yet. Let me figure it out. This airy and flowy hairstyle, these intelligent and determined eyes, plus the wheat shards on your feet. Yeah. I got it. You must be the illegitimate son of the mayor, and you have been des- We have been separated for many years, right? You've been a drifter with no one to depend on for years. After all the hardships, you finally found that irresponsible father of yours. Okay. Yeah. What? Yay. I'm right. No, you're not. You must feel embarrassed for being called out, right? Yeah. 
Oh no, my deduction failed. When will I ever reach the level of my idol? Let me think again. According to my investigation, the only people who have recently grown wheat on the farm are Uncle Hart and... Could it be? Yeah, I am the newcomer. Fine, well done. Sorry, I forgot about you. My name is Abby and I'm the town's woodcutter. However, I have another identity and that is detective. You are a really bad one. <laughs> Although I'm still lacking my detective in my detective skills, one day I will become a super well-known detective. Alright, we got an axe. Nice. So we're getting our tools. So we don't really need to buy those stuff. So we just need a fishing rod and we're good to go. I want to see... How do you use this hammer thing? Wait, there's somebody in my f in my door. On my... In my... In my door? At my door? Amanda. I have tried all kinds of methods and it seems that this house is really impossible to repair. I feel sorry for this house, which was one of the most classy houses in this town. Who is this person? I'm not a sus suspicious person. I'm a person who does good deeds everywhere by helping people fix their houses. Which is the fixer upper. Whenever I see a house that is broken, I go to fix it up, and after it is fixed up, I let people, mainly the poor, live there for free. If you hand in the materials needed by the sign, someone will help you upgrade your house. Okay. Since this house can't be fixed up, I shall leave it and look for the next house to work on. Okay, fair enough. A sighing person. Press F to interact with the building to be repaired. Okay, so each building, so we can repair this. So what does this need? Repair. Oh, 45 lumber and 45 stone and 450 coins. Go to Golden Ranch or this thing to buy animals. To buy an animal, you just have to have the corresponding animal enclo enclosure. So it seems like we have actually two of them. When there are animals in your animal enclosures, you can press F to interact with the wooden signs in front of the animal enclosures to manage your animals and animal enclosures. So, yeah, it seems like we don't have to buy them necessary, necessarily. They're here. You just have to provide the materials for it, which is pretty cool. You don't have to worry about that. I want to see if I can get rid of those on the farm. They are annoying me in the middle. In the middle! Yay! Finally. Because my farm looks insane right now. What is this? This is very, very bad. This is the worst farm layout I've ever seen. Alright. We're just gonna keep going with this mess. Might as well. And I'm gonna place this chair because I think we can get some stamina. Not stamina, what is it called? The carrot things. Let's see if that actually works. So there's like a collection book of the different things that you can gather in the game. I like that. It's kind of like Animal Crossing. Even decor. That's a lot of items. So there is a big element of cooking in this game. Fish, animals, cool. Familiar, familiar. So you can actually see the character data and an overall look into all the people that you've met. I love how it says strange. I think like it means stranger, but I think the dev's main first language is not English, so I understand. We have a mess of a farm. <laughs> By the way, um, I don't know why these are colored silver. <laughs> I have no idea why that happened. So I'm checking the contract and we do have the wheat that Becky wants, so let's just go to her and give her the stuff. I think she's here. We're gonna go this way. Guys, look at the animals! Oh. So cute! Ah. All right, little number 13, it's your, next, it's your turn next. 
You sound happy. I guess you can't wait to hear my music. Huh? There's a smell. Did you smell me? Oh, my nose never makes mistakes. Yes, you have an extraordinary aura. Why, thank you. No wonder my number one cow produced a bottle of sweet berry milk this morning. <laughs> this must be a heaven-inspired act to welcome you. My dear customer, you- oh, you want to give- no. I don't have 500 gold, do I? I don't think I do. Okay, let's introduce ourselves. Oh, you are the new farm man, mentioned by heart. Yeah, I think they need to fix that. I'm not a man. I keep getting referred to as a man. I'm not a man. He specially asked me to take care of you. How about this? I'm willing to make... You just dropped it by one gold. Just one gold. Oh, my guest. A mere gold can defeat a hero. Of course this is a huge concession. No, it's not. Oh. What a pity. Dear customer, if you change your mind, you can come back to me at the ranch. I'm not gonna change my mind. Alright, meeting is fate. I love how everybody pulls that meeting is fate thing. My name is Rode. I'm an honest businessman. No, you're not. In addition to operating this golden ranch, I sell some special products at the weekend market. If you're interested, you can come by to have a look on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, so there's a weekend market. Let's go meet Becky and then give her the commission so we can kind of see how this works. I think this is Becky. Oh, she's the girl from the main, um, from the main picture of, uh, Song of the Prairie. Haven't I seen you? You're new in town. I don't know, is that Goo? Jew? I don't know. King? Wait, what? People in this game are so confusing. Same thing happened to the new girl. Jew? Goo? I don't know how to say his name. Recruited before. Are you okay? So the bird on the head is the... Actual ac a uh, one talking. Oh, so you speak what this bird tells you to speak, I'm guessing. So, yes, I am the newcomer. Alright, so I actually have your commission. A few tasks. Submit. There we go. So we got plant proficiency to level C. Wait, what is that? T. Oh, you can say hello. Wait, wait, wait. Birdhouse store. Oh, you can buy them from her. But I haven't fixed... Yeah, I haven't fixed the place yet. Okay. Let's take a look at the blacksmith shop. Manufacturing tools. Yeah, okay, so you do have to pay money, but also provide the materials. And the first level is copper. I like that. A shop for all the times that I said I like that, this is cute, and this is adorable. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump in into what I think about the game so far. So based on my first hour and a half with Song of the Prairie, I feel like there is a lot of potential here. The game is definitely doing some things where it's trying to bring new gameplay mechanics into the genre and I always welcome that. We all know that doing the same things over and over again can get pretty repetitive and if you'd ask me who I would recommend this to, I think it's more catered towards beginners and I love that because I really want more people to get into the genre. Farming games are really good, they're really fun and I feel like Song of the Prairie is doing the right thing so far. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. We did see a lot of pop-in, we saw some translation issues, we've seen some things where they don't really recognize that I'm a woman so they kept referring to me as a man. By they, I'm talking about the NPCs. But I feel like the story and the game Play mechanics made up for it so hopefully as time goes by the devs will have enough time to fix all the issues that are being addressed here a lot of you have asked me to bring bubbly of the week shout outs so i decided you know what let's actually do it i love those and basically all you have to do is leave a comment below and then you might be one who gets a shout out in a future video and this week's bubbly of the week goes to goat v8 goat v8 says hey glad you're back thank you so much i'm very very happy to be back. I've always thought fantasy life looked interesting, but I've never tried it. So I'd love to watch a gameplay video from you. 
I would say, literally, if you have a 3DS, buy Finally, Fa Finally Fantasy. Buy Fantasy Life right now. It's worth every penny. And you'll definitely expect some videos from me covering that game because I'm just freaking out about it. Let me know what you think of Song of the Prairie down in the comment section. I would love to chat to you about it. And if you'd like me to cover a review for it, we can wait for about six months, let the devs develop the game a little bit further, and then I can give you a full breakdown of it. Videos like this are made possible because of my bubbly patrons and bubbly YouTube members, and you can become one as well and enjoy plenty of perks like your name in all video credits and a lot more. So definitely check out the pinned comment for the links. Your support would mean the world. And a shout out to, I said that before, don't laugh at me because I have to read stuff because I'm like Dory and I forget stuff. <laughs> a shout out to the games I mentioned, Faye, Jacob, Stephanie, Steven, Dark One, and Jake Logan for going the extra mile. Stay bubbly, stay positive, and I can't wait to see your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing self in the next one. Bye!